Uh, still on the news, Archbishop Philippos of the United Church of Christ in uh, Nigeria has criticized Nigeria's insecurity and called for the federal government to provide modern weapons to combat bandits, stating that over 50 people have been abducted and others have died in captivity. Plus, TV correspondent Abila Darafai reports. In northern Nigeria, and bandits have kidnapped over 50 members of Ekan Church Kauru during a wedding reception. Over three months later, the victims regained their freedom, but one of them died in a forest due to injuries sustained during captivity. Banditry and kidnapping for ransom are currently a major concern in the region. <laughs> the president of the church, Amos Kiri, and the Archbishop of the Lutheran Church of Christ in Nigeria have criticized the tragic activities of armed bandits in northern Nigeria, leading to many turning to slavery. It's not the first time that we have been suffering this issue of Kenya. They have taken about 50, over 50 of our members, even though some of them escaped. But uh, we have lost one instantly during the issue of kidnap, then he was shot dead. We have also lost another one at the process when they were released and they were coming, the other one died. And so many have suffered degree of uh, injuries and it has affected them, certainly. Traumatic we are, traumatic they are, traumatic the families, and everybody is traumatic. Nigeria that is supposed to be one of the greatest nations in the world is today struggling. People cannot go to sleep. People cannot do their businesses uh, in peace. Farmers have to desert their farms, which perpetuates and increases hunger. So any sensible person in Nigeria, not only Christians, can never be comfortable with this. This is a tragedy and it should be named as a tragedy um, is, 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 a, is a, a big wound on the conscience of the whole nation today that they are living in peace. They then praised President Bayatunibu's government and security agencies for the effort to combat insecurity, urging them to equip themselves with modern technology and equipment to, to effectively combat enemies. We appeal to federal government to live up to its responsibility. A lot needs to be done. The security men and women, all the security apparatus in this country need to synergize if we must overcome this monster. I plead with them to put aside competition. Let them work together in order to salvage this country from these unnecessary things that we are experiencing in this country. We must acknowledge and appreciate the sacrifices of our security agents. They are the first on the line of danger. We must call also on the federal government, the state government, to give them all the necessary support that they need. Well, of course, there may be here and there are mistakes, but we cannot dwell on those mistakes. We must pray for them. We must support them. We must encourage them to face these tragedies squarely. Christian clerics criticize religious leaders who promote violence for their own selfish interests, urging them to desist and promote peace and unity for all citizens. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.